In this video, we're gonna cover how to back up your PlayStation 2 discs using the media preservation front end. The media preservation front end is an awesome tool for backing up numerous disc-based system games, and one of those systems happens to be the PlayStation 2. So I've covered this previously on the channel on how to back up PS2 games, but I really like this method in the modern age compared to my previous one. The previous one still works for most things, but I think this one is definitely the way to go moving forward, as it is likely to give you better quality dumps and just better overall quality. Not to mention it's super simple. But this will work with CD and DVD based games. In my example today, I'm only showing off DVD because I couldn't find any of my CD based games to actually do it with, so yeah. But let's go ahead and dive in. Now, as we begin this process, you are going to need a physical disk drive to read the PS2 games from. If you don't have a disk drive, you can't do this process. Now, that being said, if you're planning on backing up DVD-based PlayStation 2 games, practically any disk drive that can read the DVD format is going to work for you. This comes straight from the Redump wiki. For the blue-backed CD-based games, you might need a more specific drive in which to dump them, so... Redump recommends Plex Store drives. They have a list here of all the drives that they support and recommend, but these ones can be a bit harder to come by or more expensive on eBay. So there are other drives that do work, but might not just be as recommended. And that includes a big lineup of LG Blu-ray burners, one of which is what I'm happening to be using today in the WH16NS40. So I will have a link to some of these drives in the description below that you can still pick up on Amazon if you are interested. So again, any drive should work for DVDs as long as they can read DVDs, but CDs are a bit more specific. But with that out of the way, we need to do some prerequisites to get the MPF program to run. If you don't already have .NET Framework 4.8, you will need to get this installed, otherwise the program will not run. And the same goes for Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 Redistributable. So links to both of these will be in the description below for you to download and install if you don't already have them. And the last thing we need to do is grab the media preservation front end. As of this video, the latest version is 2.4. So scrolling down to the very bottom here of the release section, we need to grab MPF 2.4 net 48.zip. So just go ahead and download this one. And again, links will be in the description below. And once downloaded, just go ahead and get it extracted and open it up and launch mpf.exe. Now to back up our PS2 games, we're gonna go to the system selector here and scroll down to PlayStation 2. And now we're gonna choose our media type. So if you're backing up CD-ROM based games, you can leave it on CD-ROM. So again, those are the blue back discs. And then DVD-ROM games are the silver back discs. So choose your format here. Then you can go ahead and insert a game into your computer's disk drive. And when the disk gets detected by Windows, if it auto pops up, you can just go ahead and close it. But anyway, click on the scan for disk button here inside the program. And it should auto populate the file name for the game and then set a output destination. So you could choose the destination of your choice by using the browse button. I'm just gonna leave it on default because it's easy enough to find but I'm gonna go ahead and rename my output file name because I just wanna have it look nicer. When the actual process is finished, I don't plan on submitting these reports to redump or anything. These are all just for personal backup purposes. So there we go. Now the last thing to note is drive speed. It will automatically set the highest speed possible, which will give you the fastest dumping speed, but it could potentially lead to errors. So if you have problems with your games, you could try redumping them at a lower speed to ensure quality backups. But once you have everything set, go ahead and click on the start dumping button here and wait for it to do its thing. It can take a while depending on the size of the disc, so just bear with it. And once the process is finished, you'll be greeted with it. It is now safe to eject this disc prompt. So you can just click on okay here. And then this disc information panel will pop up, but since these are personal backups and not being submitted to redump, we don't have to worry about it. So we can just go ahead and cancel out of this. And there we go, PS2 DVD base game backed up. So from here, you can repeat the process with all of your PlayStation 2 games until you have completed the entire backup process. But we're gonna keep this one short and just leave it with one demo there. 
So to find my game back up, I just need to go back into my MPF folder here. There's now a new ISO folder, Mega Man X8. And there is my Mega Man X8 ISO ready to be used on original hardware if I want to load it up into Open PS2 Loader or on emulation. So we're just going to demo it with emulation right now just to show that the backup does work as intended. So I did already have a copy of Mega Man X8 backed up that's in my games list here. So we're just going to open up the one that I just dumped from my desktop here. So grab Mega Man X8. And there we go, booted right up, perfect. And there we go, Mega Man X8, up and running through that backup I just created through MPF on PCSX2. Absolutely beautiful. So again, this is a very easy way of backing up your PlayStation 2 discs. It ensures high quality dumps and just makes it really easy to back up your physical collection if you happen to still have quite a big physical collection. So again, CD-based games are going to need specific DVD drives to work properly. You can always try with any drive you happen to have, but results are not guaranteed. So it is always recommended to uh, try to use one of their recommended drives for that process. But. We're going to go ahead and call it there for this video. But thank you so much as always for watching today's video. I hope it helps you get your PS2 games backed up for use in emulation or open PS2 loader. But here at the end, I do have a couple of big favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like this tutorial, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content coming your way, and I'd always love to have you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel, be sure to check out that join button here on YouTube or that Patreon link that'll appear in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers, thank you so much for believing in what we do here and helping us keep it going. Y'all are the truest of champs and we couldn't do it without you. But until next time my wonderful internet peeps, y'all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.